I gotta do some miscellaneous runs with other characters. Shotgun is really gratifying to use. I wish you got to use it more often throughout the game, but it barely ever comes up. He doesn't start attacks very often from out of range, even though he could do it. Okay, I messed up the positioning there. I wanted to finish it off with a slam, that would have been way more dramatic, but... Grab the food. Damn context sensitive buttons. Seems like we got the random no ammo here. Sometimes you get, sometimes you get the ammo clip from these guys. I think the poachers drop it. Sometimes you don't. But this isn't a hard part of the game, so thankfully it doesn't really matter. I don't think any of the hard parts of the game that like really ask you to have a gun actually have random ammo clips like some of the early stages do. A fair bit of generosity from the game's part. I could have been really assholes about that. I was hoping my combo would end fast enough. That's rude. Ah, oh, the double gib.
I don't know if it's really worth it or meaningful to actually save that one food item for the boss or for the boss fight, but it, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it is. I'm gonna throw the gun away instead of bonking him with it, just so I can get to the punching part a little faster. These fucking snipers are trying to get me, but I can't manage it. Hey, did we crush one of those barrels? That's the last barrel that was left on the bottom? That's kind of funny. That was pretty dumb on my part. I definitely grabbed that coin. I don't really care what the game says. Definitely for some of these Capcom beat-ups, you find yourself kind of wishing you could skip the bonus rounds like this, like this, or uh, Final Fights, car beating game, after a billion credits. I would say they have a pretty important purpose as cooldown things, but that's more true in Final Fight than it is here, where stages 1 and 2 are pretty threatless. I think maybe like every two runs we trade out for a different game, maybe play a run of something else and go back to Cadillacs. Maybe something like that. Also, my car's about to go down. So the Cadillac has a gun on it. I, don't, I wonder if you can actually use the gun in multiplayer or if it's just there because it's there in the comic books. I'm kind of curious. I do want to check out the comics at some point. I'm, kind of, I'm, I'm at least curious about them. I know that they're like forever unfinished. They like lost funding or backing partway through, so the story is just incomplete, but what's there seems kind of neat, and I'm curious how the game adapts it. I know the game is really different, of course. Okay, we beefed the... we didn't die on it or anything, but we kind of beefed the wall thing for like last time. So I, w I wonder if it's actually better to punch, or is it to throw the bottom left uh, orange guy who shows up the thug, because it can be helpful to stop his grenade, but if it causes him to actually join the fight properly, it might not be worth uh, stopping him from throwing the grenade. It's not something I want to deal with in the middle of that fight, with, all the, with the wall through and the regular grunts. She could save that pizza for the Walther fight. Get over here. Got some gum. Okay, no. That little guy is just there. Hey, what is this? Get me out of here. Hey, my gum. My gum. Oh, 
Oh, is there a... Uh, no grenade. Where did he go? This isn't impacting the thing, because I only use it to quickly one-hit kill these beast grunts, but... I wonder... It's not that random, is it? Uh, I definitely grabbed that dynamite like three times. I wish it had actually gone... Okay. Well, dying on slice. Very likely now. That's unfortunate. Like, I really wish they gave you that big pizza item. Which is only a half health item anyway. I wish they had given you that after, or at least during the Walther fight, because it's so chaotic. And it's over the line, I think, to make you fight. To force you into fighting slice with no HP items. Because all you get is the path before him. It'd be really generous if they had done that. And I really think they should have, like, leaned towards generosity here, because the slice fight is broken. Well, it's like borderline broken anyway. Okay, let's see if our let's see if our new slice strategy works or if it's just a failure. I, I should really try it in save states, but we know the regular strat doesn't work, so. If he charges all the way across the screen, just jump on him. Damn. It's tough, because I know I pressed punch. You have, like, extremely laggy startup on your attacks, but he doesn't. Rude. I was going to go for a jab, but then I suddenly immediately realized, oh yeah, I don't, I don't have to. If you have the HP and you know he's going to die, you just special, and it's, it guaranteed gets him. Whereas a jab can potentially fail if he decides to do an instant wake at Boomerang. The big problem with Slice, I'm trying not to be like too bitchy salty or anything, but the big problem I think with Slice is... The fight is set up so that the only like really good way you can do damage to him is to try to catch him in a, in a wake up loop. But he randomly attacks you as he's as he's waking up, and you can't you can't defend against it. Like sixty percent of the time, I want, his numbers are kind of made up, but it, it feel it's what feels right. I feel like sixty percent of the time he does nothing, and you just beat him up as he gets up. Thirty five percent of the time, I don't want this. But thirty five percent of the time, he does his attack where he does like the delayed boomerang toss, where they still come out even if you interrupt him immediately. But like, they don't come out for a second. And 5% and of the time he just instantly bombards you as soon as he gets up and I'm getting yelled here. I know I, my leg hit this dinosaur like six times. Why does he keep being alive after he's been killed? Come on. This is the problem, potentially. I really hate these fucking little Zeke enemies. Like, even if you hit them, they just arbitrarily come back to life. The collision detection just seems kind of fucked on them. So the problem with the whole problem with the slice fight is, you feel like you have to take that risk and go for the wake up attack because nothing else really does any any appreciable damage to him. But whether or not wake up attacks work is random. It's interesting because if you look at something like Streets of Rage 2 or whatever, it's a given that bosses are just going to punish you on wake up, and it's really how it should be. I think it's kind of fucked up if you can just speed up a boss. And I'll, not, I'll let them escape at all, because it's it's dumb. The Cadillac pushes you into a spot where you have to gamble on it, because nothing else really works on him. The fifth and sixth bosses are the same way, but not as bad. That's also the annoying thing about them. 
they are in, the, in those cases, they aren't random, though, whether or not they actually do the wake up punish. You can bait it out and stop it. But the wake up loop on them is so exacting. And it's annoying that the whole boss fight revolves around it. Still, there are ways to do it without like relying on it too hard, and that's just what you gotta do. Set it for bludge? There, that's it for bludge. But the orange is still alive. Okay. Okay, we should be fine as long as we don't like explode and die. Okay, corner zone. Come to me, Walther, you fuck. Seems like he really just isn't allowed to use his actual important stuff up there. Like he can't use his his not his what is it? His neutral wake up jump that he does sometimes. Where the invincible where the attack doesn't have eye phrase, but the initial startup on the escape jump does. But it seems like he's just he can't do it up there, and so he can't punish you even though he should be able to. It's kinda of weird. Joe and Mac is kind of cool. I mean, Joe and Mac is bad. Or at least mediocre, but that game has cool sprites. Yo, check it out. The M16. How lucky. Time to lose it. So the M16, there's no guaranteed drop for it in the whole game. It's random. Whether or not you ever get it. But it's way stronger than the Uzi. When it shows up, it usually sh shows up by replacing the Uzi. Of course, we're going to bring him to the boss fight. I'm going to drop it here. By dropping it, we can guarantee that we don't like lose it to someone by punching me. Fat. Okay, we have Machine Gun. The Black Marketeers did this. It does do pretty nice damage to him. Need to drop it now. I definitely went for a grab there. I'm too afraid to go for the loop in this case. Didn't I escape? What the hell? Please don't fuck me, Orange. Oh, never mind. You didn't have the chance. Okay, we've gotten lucky. We literally got lucky, because... That random M M16 spawn helped me skip the first phase. Setting-wise, this feels kind of like a filler stage, doesn't it? You don't really go through any like cool new flashy areas in this. Okay. This level doesn't have like much in the way of standout hard moments or anything, but it's consistently food stingy. We got a tough boss, so... 
It's gonna stay consistent. That way. What? 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 Basically, before heal me. Fucking turd. That wasn't very smart. But it worked out. Excuse me, where was my combo? Fucking fats. Why do they have attacks that can initiate from anywhere? These guys are some shit. I hit him from off axis and he just didn't care. Okay. There's that eye friend jump, but there's a big food, or at least a medium food over here. So it's not apocalyptic. Yo, search like. What's up? Welcome. And thank you. We're just doing some Cadillacs. We've managed to avoid dying so far, but we'll see what happens. Okay, I can I hope we get a food item from the fat dudes in, un, under the dinosaur foot encounter. It'd be nice to be topped off. Hope everything's going good for you, search like. Okay, uh, there's like a fat dude ambush back here, I think. They like swarm you at some point. I forget where it is though, always. Always I'm always bad about remembering when these dudes like ambush you with their off-screen charge. It's after this dude, okay. Hope the foot doesn't come up here, it's coming up here. I don't know how much damage it does to you if it stomps you, but I don't really want to find out either. Okay. That was a bad strategy, because that could have failed. Oh, we got a food. Okay, okay, let's not get... Let's not take stupid hits here. Also, checked out this dinosaur. He seems baked AF. I had it turning around in this game. Why? Okay, bad. I knew that was happening. Should have, should have tossed in the other direction. Kind of lost the plot there. Jerk. Okay, unfortunate situation. Thank you. I've gotten a couple, but we haven't gotten the hard ones. Uh, certainly, my biggest goals here are Cadillacs and Final Fight. But Final Fight's pretty far off, so we're looking at Cadillacs, which is also kind of far off. Okay, Tyrog. This dude's... this dude's a fucker. I just gotta play it a little safer than I usually do. I go for, like, maybe unnecessary risks trying to maintain the loop, and it feels bad, but you gotta let it go sometimes, I guess. If you get far away from him, he has a habit of just dicking himself over a little. He's going for his chest stab. I just cannot get the loop. Uh-huh. I don't really agree with that hitbox. Okay. That's what I was saying earlier. Oh, man. Okay, that got me. I'm in trouble. 
This dude's evil. The big problem with that fight is, uh, I mean, first off, his big weakness is that uh, you can actually get the proper throw on him. His big weakness is if you're really far away from him, he'll go for, like, a stomp. And you can definitely punish that stomp. That was dirty. I really hate little guys. Okay, phase two. Nice! Check this out, the french fries item. If I pick up the french fries, it's named Potato. I love it. Ah. He's gonna do the big jump, yeah. His big jump, very vulnerable. After he, has, after he does it, unfortunately, that little fucking ankle biter turd messed me up. Well, we got like multiple stuns on him, how lucky. Okay, so despite my bitching last night, you gotta play it safe on him, this turd. You just gotta be a little careful about cleaning up the grunts. It's just tough because you can't really get rid of the grunts, they're always extant. Oh yeah, Final Fight. That game is fucking great. Yes, it truly is great. I think Final Fight is better than most later beat em ups. It's got its annoying elements. There's some stuff that's a little. There's some little rough edges in there, but it's truly great. And it's one I want to spend more time with, of course. Okay, so we've got we've got a decent life count. This makes me optimistic. We'll see what happens. If we can maintain our life count, oh, first we have the big the, the gatekeeper. We have Zeke again, my nemesis. Come down. Okay, Zeke's out of here. I'm bad at managing this bit. Seriously. Nice, nice, nice. Let's, let's get rid of this knife. I'm playing too timid, but it's not a lot of food, so... Okay, time to get our back against the wall over here. Just hide out. We're playing red light, green light with these guys. If you want to attack mess, you got to get in the queue. I gotta stress that even though my life count is decent, it's not. All these lives can disappear in an instant once we get to the boss fight. This boss fight is the real test of Cadillacs. Oh, that was a waste. Okay, I was hoping these guys had enough health to be throw vectors. There is a food coming up, so we can we can make up for that loss. Nice. There's the ultra satisfying rock line. I'm playing it turbo safe. It'd be nice if you get like a gun drop back here, because sometimes you do, but usually you don't. I mean, usually you don't. It's very rare for you to get a gun drop over here. But it'd be cool. Good. 
where are they at? Okay, they're hiding. They're just camping out. Okay, I'm a little bogged here. This isn't looking ultra great. There's food back here, but... There's not like a lot of food in this elevator. And we're coming up to a fairly scary fight with the fat guy and his four little guy companions. I went for a grab there. I don't think it was safe. Too. Okay. We can get some food only from the fat guys. It's not really important, but I'll save the dynamite for the second group of uh, fat guys at the end. Good job. Nice dynamite toss. I screwed up a little bit. Okay, the double lash fight in here. It's scary. Apparently so is that generic grunt. There's a decent amount of like little food back here if we survive, but you never know. Hard part here is surviving this fight with um without triggering the, the food drops in the barrels because they're very missable if you don't get them fast enough. Don't. Okay, I knew he was doing it. It was my fault. I, I hate to say it. But I could have stopped that. Over here, you fucker. Okay, passable. Still kind of bonked. There was a fucking secret fucking food. Or a score item, not a food. And it stopped me from, from punching the barrel. That's really inconsiderate. Come on, Capcom. Do I, I don't need the grenade. Oh well. None of these have food. Only food is at the in, is in the final one. Okay, here is Blanco Trio. Just want to edge out the bottom one. Oh, unfortunately, often the top two don't move at all or don't bother moving until they get a little closer than that. But we didn't perfectly perfectly manage it. Okay, we got to be a little careful. The food's coming. Of the screen. Hey, asshole. I know I grabbed you. You gonna. Okay, food. Okay, passable food. Decent health bar. Okay, what are we doing? We're gonna eat the first food, but we're gonna pass the last food on to the screen before the boss. Or not exactly that, but close. Okay. Is that gross looking hot dog? Some of the food in this game looks really good. I think the hot dog is not one of them. I should have managed that a little better. I think the hot dog is a full heal anyway. And you sometimes get food from these guys also. 
This is like the one screen in the game where... The timer can actually get you. It's not likely to, but it could. Okay, so here we are. Hell boss. Miss... Miss turd. This dude's true evil. I don't have a real strat for the beginning of the fight, I just always use special. It's a waste of health, but it seems safer than doing anything else. You fools dare try to stop the creator of a new world. Exe! Slice R. That was stupid. Okay, please don't boomerang me and it will be you. Okay, he boomerang me. It's how it is. I really can't believe that they like laser targeted this fight the way they did. They're like, yeah, you yeah, know, slice our or slice one, he was pretty jacked. Now about two slices. I, I can't go over there. Using your special, like, pre preemptively can be helpful here, because... Gives you a fair amount of invincibility. Really? Oh man, I forgot that they can escape your grabs extremely fast. Final stage. We actually made it. How lucky. And it really was luck. <laughs> On to the bottom of the basement. Have a good idea what to expect. There's a Tyrog back there. There's multiple Tyrogs. Wonder how many bl bludges we're gonna have to put up with. God, that knife didn't manage to, s to snipe me. That would have been really inconsiderate. back. Of course he is, right? Wow, that was rude. Okay, give me the long range jump. He didn't. He 
He's dead. He's dead. Exclamation point. Underground. We're going deeper and deeper. Hey, it's a pipe object again. The same one from stage 1-1. One, one. You get to break it too. For the first time since the beginning of the game. That's a trap, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, can I smash you? I am not making even the barest aggressive movement. We are going slow and we are chilling out until we find some fucking food. There's some food. Oh yeah, this music comes back. This music got underused earlier in the game, but it gets finally proper use in the final stage. Even sounds like it should have been a final stage theme all along, doesn't it? I don't trust this dude. I have never trusted. Can I punch this pipe? I want to break it too. Nice. Alright, we can... I'm not going to make that joke, actually. I was going to make a joke about... Now we can... Lose the 1 CC in peace. But let's not make that joke. I wish I had researched the finale a little harder. I cannot turn around, I'm bad at it. Why of all things is that my weakness? Why does he do this gigantic evil dungeon down here below the lab? Maybe for research subjects before they get research done? Now we're in the underworld. Also an awesome unique track for this final segment. Jerk. One of you has got to be a food, right? I know the trick here very vaguely. I wish I'd researched it. Everyone follow me. Try and save the gun a little bit. Okay. Uh, Most caution. Oh, this is where you want the gun, actually. We got one final mini boss encounter.
Let's chill out. Punching some fat dudes. I would have liked to have carried this with me, but... Final boss. I don't know what to do. I don't really know what to do here, so we're gonna wing it. I wish I'd be able to carry that full health meat into the fight. His lab is gonna explode.
secret good ending. I'm just going to run back towards the lab. Alright, finally done.